I'm Indy Lodge and I'm here inside the Hub Culture Studio Davos 2020. Absolutely delighted now to be joined by a repeat guest, Bob Garrett, the CEO of Hackensack Meridian Health. Great to be back. Thanks for coming along. Absolutely. So I know that you've been talking about a lot of different subjects. One thing that has been a theme here that I wasn't expecting as much, but has sort of emerged is this idea around mental health, especially at work. Now it's interesting as a healthcare company, I wonder how you think about the mental health of your employees. Well, we're really very focused on that. Um, if you think about it, worldwide, a billion people have some sort of mental illness or an addiction disorder. We spend 70% of our time as a, as a globe uh, at, in, in the workplace. Mm. So it's really important that we focus on the, the mental health of our uh, workforce. So there are, there are great examples of uh, some best practices. You know, there mm -hmm. are recognition programs that, um, you know, people want recognition, they need recognition. So there's um, automated recognition systems. We have, as an example, a, a no email rule. So mm. on the weekends, uh, people um, should not be answering emails. They need to spend time with their families mm -hmm. and kind of recharge. We, uh, we're, you know, we make sure people take their uh, vacation time because that's mm -hmm. really um, important as well. And then this year, we instituted a, a new practice uh, called a no meeting zone. So mm. for two hours a day, we have supervisors spending time with their team members because. The research has shown that um, team members want to spend time with their supervisors to, to get to know them better, and the supervisors should really know their, uh, their team members uh, better for, for good, positive mental health. And honestly, it makes good, it makes good business sense, have and it's the right thing to do. We have. We're getting great feedback. Uh, mm -hmm. I think productivity is, is uh, positive. Uh, a lot of great ideas. Innovation is coming out of it because there's some great conversations that are happening mm -hmm. kind of on the front lines that mm -hmm. wouldn't normally happen with, if you're in a conference room or you're in a boardroom. So um, I'm, I'm, I'm very encouraged by it. Now, the other thing that you've been very open about in the last year is the fact that you're, um, you were subject of a ransomware attack. Yes. I wonder if you can tell me that story and if anything that you learned from it. Yeah, there. Uh, you know, we've uh, we've actually uh, been public about the ransomware attack that happened uh, to Hackensack Meridian. It happened uh, this past December, mm -hmm. and uh, we were attacked by a, a group, a criminal group out of uh, out of Russia called Ryuk, R Y U K. Mm -hmm. um, they yeah, the attack happened at the beginning of December through a single device, and then spread throughout uh, the organization. I have to say, our organization really handled it extremely well, but we had a. We, we had to shut down a lot of our major systems. Our electronic mm. health record had to be shut down, our payroll um, automated system, our human resource benefits system. So people had to go back to manual systems. They had to go back to paper. Wow. One of the more practical things that we learned was that we didn't have enough paper on hand. <laughs> and uh, we had to go out to, to places like Staples to right. buy more paper, which is uh, pretty wow. interesting. But a couple of the lessons learned is, you know, as prepared, and we, we thought we were very well prepared, as prepared, as organizations are, um, it's usually not enough, and you, you need to really think about what you have to do to prevent it, and also how, how do you eradicate it, and how do you recover when you are uh, attacked. Number two, um, don't automatically uh, rule out uh, paying ransom for a healthcare system like mm -hmm. ours. Patient safety is paramount. So you had to pay. Yeah, we did have to pay because, um, you know, uh, even though our teams were heroic and they did a great job on those manual systems, on those mm. paper systems, honest to God, I mean, they could not keep that pace up for a long period of time and patient safety has to come first. So we're sharing the story because, um, you know, we think, you know, it will be helpful to, uh, to others. And that was the other piece is, you know, I, I would encourage if you are attacked as an organization when it's safe to go public, to go public because we all could learn a lot uh, from these experiences. I really thank you, Bob, for popping by the Hub Culture Studio here in Davos to tell us a little bit more about healthcare, the front line uh, in the United States. I'm Edie Lush.